Boom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welcome to Transformation Tuesday for May 7th, 2024. Yes, the week of Mother's Day. Just take a deep breath into that. And just who are we? <laughs> why, why do we even want to transform? And it's transformation is about taking one form and changing it into another. So let's take a deep breath in here. My name is Judy Matejek. I am the founder and creator of Paradigm Shifters. And we are a very dedicated community who are dedicated to shift and uplift the entire planet. So how are you on shifting and uplifting yourself right here right now that's the question that's the question where are you where are you designing a shift on this day may 2024 what if this was the month that you allowed allowed yourself the courage to be nurtured as well as nurturing others what if well well i just <laughs> i am fresh from the most amazing event in dallas texas dream builder live where oh my gosh talk about up level talk about nurturing talk about um hearing people's visions for a brand new future or a future where love, peace, hope, inclusion is there. There were people from all over the planet there as uh, well as my son and uh, grandkids were there and little kids. And what a blessing it is. What a blessing to be alive in May 2024. So let's take another deep breath in today as um, I want to do uh, a reading here, okay, to kick off this. Then I have some videos that I took in Dallas of, you know, just I, I kept thinking, oh, wow, there's videos that I took of some very, very special people and but wait a minute, just for one minute. So take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. And this is from the Daily Word. Mother's Blessing. And the affirmation is, I honor and bless the world's mothers. Today I offer a blessing of gratitude for the loving, nurturing spirit of mothers. I bless my mother and those who have shared a mother's love by supporting me throughout my life. I think of the many ways they have been present for me over the years with unconditional acceptance and love. Bring to mind any person that had this unconditional acceptance and love for you. I envision all the mothers, grandmothers, and caregivers throughout the world surrounded by love and light. For those in my life, I take time to express my appreciation with words, gifts, and time together. To mothers that be, oh my goodness, I saw one of my best buddies, Lauren. It's like, whoo, mothers to be, first time mom. I prayerfully affirm health and ever deepening joy. To mothers no longer in the world, I hold them in loving prayer and hold thoughts of joy and gratitude. I bless their souls ongoing journeys, knowing bonds of love keep their memories alive. 
I honor and bless the world's mothers. And this is only fitting, so come on back here. <laughs> I want to show you. I prepared a really cool little PowerPoint for you guys today for, um, <laughs> for, oops, hold on, where is, oh, give me a second. I need to go like this. Okay, hang on a second. I need to. Boom. Okay, just give me a second while I transfer to here. And here we want. Yeah, okay, there. Now I think we got it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, Transformation Tuesday. Transformation Tuesday for. Okay, Mother's Day. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this. There we go. I think I can do it now. There we go. All right. <sighs> Transformation Tuesday, Mother's Day 2024. Honoring and nurturing the spirit within. This is a young man that I met in Dallas. And... I'm drawn was drawn to him because he is in a wheelchair and he was being pushed by his mother and that always gets me curious <laughs> so we uh, I might have my son there who's walking with a cane now which is the real progress and we were uh, on a lunch break and this mom is pushing, you know, her boy down the hill in Dallas and up. And, and, and we were going to the food trucks, right? And I'm like, ooh, I want to eat with them. I want to find out his story. So you might have to listen close. I'll recap when we're done. But um, we, are, we were there. She, they, they're from Washington State. They had gotten on an airplane in Washington State, flown into Dallas, you know, wheelchair and all, you know, probably, I don't know, a lift or something special to take him into the hotel. And he's all shaven and he's fascinated and 100% in Dream Builder Live. Now, I wanted to know his story, right? So I'm going to play it hopefully you can hear it um i'll i'll teach you more i mean at the end this is anthony gonzalez okay i'm in dream builder live dallas and i just met this uh beautiful young man and you've got a story to tell you got a thing so tell us who you are and where you're from and uh i'm from Washington, and then my name is Anthony Gonzalez, and... Okay, now I wanted to, there, um, his story is, he, well, whatever, he'll tell you his story, he had gotten shot, and so this next part, after he got his thinking together is more of his story. I got shot right there two times right there in the head because uh -huh. there was it didn't come out because like I got shot in my arm like what right there. Um I just want to be able to to speak on uh on how no on um on you want to speak to some kids? Yeah, speak to some kids. Um. Like about 
about getting involved with gangs. Yeah, yep. Uh, yeah. Getting in, in the trouble with gangs. Or the wrong people. Or the wrong people. Great. Great. You just did. Okay. So take a deep breath in and look at Anthony and see him in his vision speaking to kids from his story of getting shot with the, you know, he was saying his two bullets in his head and in his arms, speaking to him and about getting involved with, you know, this is his. And this, that was very hard for him to speak. In fact, about an hour or two later, he had a seizure and his mom, they're used to that and there just happened to be an ER doctor there, but that's not the story. His vision is to speak to kids, but we're not honoring Anthony today. We're honoring his mom. This next video is her story of what happened when he got shot. This is Rosa Gonzalez. Story two. <laughs> So he said, you, he, you said, they said you signed the papers, right? Well, I showed up to the hospital, and they kept us up there for hours, and they wouldn't let me in, and let me in, and they said, oh, he's dead. And so finally, after begging and crying, they let me in, and they just had him laying there, and, and he's still moving, and they just said, sign a paper, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to sign anyone. What are you going to do? He's, you know, you're going to give me a vegetable, and you're going to take care of him for the rest of your my decision, my doors. So after I decided to do that, and they said, okay, so they were going to transfer him to Spokane, which is a good city. And so then they started fixing him, because they just kind of left him there. And so then they started prepping him to uh, Lifeline. Him. And when we got to Spokane, Washington, it was like night and day. We had like at least 20, 20 something people waiting to yeah. check him to see this, see that. And I mean, it took a while. Good for you. Yes. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so today we're honoring Rosa Gonzalez. All the people at the accident said, sign the papers, he's dead. She goes, well, no, that's not my decision. She made a decision in that moment to to go in and, you know, Starflight and everything. But you know what? <laughs> Let's ask ourselves this question. When did we have a really tough decision to make? As mothers or for our mothers or whatever. Because that's the nurturing part of touching that spirit within. So today I want to honor Rosa Gonzalez. She doesn't know that I'm playing a lot. For honoring her son's life so that he may go on and be the voice for generations to choose a better life. Yeah. Yeah. So that might be you. Yeah. So I love it. We were, we were talking about this mama bear spirit <laughs> when that mama bear comes up. So here's the question. Here's the call to answer. Okay. So I mean the call to action. So let's generate a feeling of possibility of what you would love regardless of any circumstance, situation, or condition, regardless. And then write up your favorite mom story and private message me and, and we'll feature you on Transformation Tuesdays. How's that for you? And also honor your mom, whether she's here on the other side, your mom or people who have nurtured you in that acceptance, unconditional way that is truly authentically you, right? And then for the month of May, allow yourself the courage to be nurtured and to nurture others. Yeah. So a little bit of food for thought as we bring in May. Um, so I want to take this this moment I um, of time here to um, 
talk a little bit maybe about what it took as a decision for Rosa to go against common hour thinking, which is your son's daddy be a vegetable for even if we did save him, right? You know, <laughs> to go against their thinking and have a brave thinking courage, right? <laughs> Just think about that. And where have you had some brave thinking? We're like, mm, that's not in my vision. <laughs> and what is your vision for yourself, for your loved ones? One of the uh, presenters there, my good friend, John Boggs. Gosh, my son's hero is John Boggs. And John Boggs has quite a story. And he's got, heck, John Boggs is the same age almost as my son. And we got to eat with him. And it was so cool because my son's passion is bike riding, mountain bike riding. In fact, he's out riding right now. And now we know that John Fox <laughs> rides a bike. But what I'm saying is the connections that we make. Now, for as a mom, I want to make the connections for my kids only in a positive way, right? I have no control over that. But the fact that John and my son actually had a really cool conversation about setting goals, going for the dream, but setting goals, miniature goals, at least six goals that you can accomplish today. And then how they, how they, um, how they will lead to the larger goal and the larger goals. So the, the, um, you know, so, <laughs> you know, we're coming back from Dream Builder Live. It was rah, 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 rah. Okay, now this is when the work happens. So yes, Rosa found her son. Yes, she got him to the hospital. Yes, they did all they, they did. But guess what? The work to get him to where he is today was not done in the doctor's office. It was done on daily, daily, daily believing and action steps. Every day, every day to those goals to the goal. They made it to Dream Builder Live in Dallas. You better believe there were goals set to get there. You know, so what goals are you? Miniature goals, mini goals, six of them, you know? Oh, six is too many. Well, then how important is your vision? Do you really believe in it? It is really that burning desire. So, <laughs> Speaking as like the mom behind the scenes here. So let's say, let's take the deep breath in into May where we are allowing the courage. Once again, it's courage you're nurturing yourself as you're nurturing others. So I had a chance to pull Rosa aside and I'm like, okay, what are you doing for your self care? I noticed you're pretty strong pushing that free up and down and stuff. And she had no clue what even that meant. I mean, you know, what are you doing for you? What are you, let's just imagine, he's out there speaking on stages and stuff to kids, and he doesn't need you to push him around anymore. What are you? What is your vision for you, Mama, for the next three years? <laughs> it's like, I never thought of, you know, we were in the middle of all of this, this nurturing, and it's so important to take time out to have a vision for your health, for your strength, for you, you know. So anyway, May uh, 7th, 2024, we are honoring, you know, Sunday's Mother's Day. Um, we are honoring and nurturing, allowing that, honoring and nurturing. Most of the people in here are nurturing others nurturing ourselves so that we can be here for many, many, many more years to go live our passion, live our dreams. So here we go, over and out. We want you to, and, and also remember, PM me, you know, I'm, I'm about coaching, whatever. Maybe you'd love to be a speaker here. Um, we'll have a chat, but um, this month is about Nurturing, we have some dynamite speakers lined up. Boy, dynamite. I, um, 
there's a midwife that's coming in here who's been delivering babies for a long time. There's, there's, you know, anyway, I wouldn't even want to, mm, mm, mm. but you'll want to stay tuned all through May 2024, Transformation Tuesday. And remember to live, love, because you matter.